Hi, welcome to the Johar series, Ask Johar. Today's question is about UFOs and extraterrestrials. Have they really visited here? Does the government know about it? Are they going to make their presence known even more in the future? In other words, what's really going on about this? So I will go away and uh, allow Johar and Simon to speak through me. Just to remind you that I am in complete trance and have no consciousness of what is being said. And when I come back, I have no memory of what's being said. Johar and Simon are light beings from what they call the causal plane of unified mind. Namaste. We are Johar and we are Simon. Welcome. The question that has been asked is about what you call extraterrestrials. Aliens. Space beings. And are they actually on your planet? Have they visited? And so forth. Of course they have. Your universe is populated mainly by humanoid beings and some nearly humanoid beings and some completely foreign to humanoid. But they, your, your galaxy is rife with solar systems, with planets that have sentient life. You are not alone. And your planet is very attractive to many of those for many reasons of which we will not go into at this moment for there is not sufficient time. To answer the question directly, yes. There are beings and people from other planets, not in your solar system, but from other solar systems, not only visiting your planet, but living here among you as one of you. And there are many souls that came as extraterrestrials who stayed and incarnated into human bodies lifetime after lifetime for particular purposes. For example, those who began the healing art of Rehutek started off their job or their mission as extraterrestrial beings and then some stayed and continue to incarnate on your planet in human bodies to continue the work. But for your straightforward, everyday uh, textbook extraterrestrial, uh, for example, many of you are concerned about those you call greys. Yes, they have been here and they continue to visit and they continue to uh, experiment on humans for purposes of saving their own race, which is dying. And yes, there was a, a crash at Roswell, New Mexico, and yes, your government, the United States government, and many other governments knew about it and did indeed uh, make it quiet for fear uh, that the truth would create havoc and be detrimental to the peace and security of the nations. At this point, there has been a big shift in the visitations from other planets uh, of uh, extraterrestrials, and uh, it is becoming more and more and more prevalent. It is not that it is not known that people do not know about them. People do know about them. It is very well known. They're very public. But there is also a campaign of disinformation about this by your governments that is slowly being eroded away. Gradually, little by little, the governments are revealing the truth and eventually we're, we are expecting in the next 10 to 15 years at least that full disclosure will be known and that the whole world will know that they are not alone and that some beings are coming here for your highest good as helpers, as guides, uh, for, with their wisdom 
and their advanced technology for the good of the peace of the planet. And there are some here coming for their own purposes and for selfish reasons that are not for your highest good. Not everything out there is wonderful and good. But we will also say that there is no great danger in any way to your movie, uh, movie version of invasion and, and uh, movie versions of extin extinction or uh, uh, taking over by pod people. This is simply fantasy. <laughs> so we do hope that answered your question and we thank you for listening. Until the next time, namaste. Good day. Thank you for listening. We hope this answered your questions and stay tuned, as they used to say many years ago, for the next installation. Goodbye. <laughs>